welcome to the innovation lab so as i'm wrapping up on my universal charger build i realized that i need uh, a, a display something that could give me a good digital readout so i can know if i'm using this as a battery charger i'm charging a battery i want to know what is the status what is uh, what i'm putting into the battery i need to be able to see uh, if i'm using it as a load uh, to drive a load i also need to, to uh, keep track of what's going into the load so with that, two options come to mind. The first one will be this high precision power analyzer that I've had for a while, or the second option will be this um, digital DC digital meter that I just got in a couple of days ago. So yeah, so let's go ahead and look into, explore both of them, their features and their specs to see which one of these devices will be the best uh, to use for this purpose. All right, my friends, let's get to it. So the first one that we are going to look at will be this high precision um, power analyzer. So I've had this for a while, so it's very, very reliable and um, there's a lot of things I like about it and there's a few things I do not like about it. So uh, you can buy this uh, unit from Amazon. Uh, right now I think you can get it as cheap as $12, somewhere between $12 to $15. So it has an input voltage rating of uh, 4.8 volts to about 60 volts. It doesn't exceed 60 volts. So and an input current rating of uh, goes up to 150 amps. So on the display here, you will see uh, when you power it up, you, it will give you a voltage readout, uh, the load current readout, the accumulated charge both in ampere hours and in watt hours and it will also give you the load in, in watts, you know, um, which is basically IV, current times voltage, going through this device. So the another cool thing with it, with it is it also has an inbuilt shunt, so you don't have to worry about having an external shunt and having wire all over the place. So um, yeah, so you can easily get this from, from Amazon and eBay. So another thing I did, was also to do kind of a calibration test. So if I want to use this, uh, my um, charger, universal charger design, so I want to be able to make sure that the parameters that I'm reading here will be accurate. So what I did was I kind of uh, uh, compared the, um, I used my Fluke meter. You know, Fluke is known for, you know, as a high quality measurement device. So I used my Fluke digital multimeter to measure both the input voltage simultaneously, input voltage and, out, and uh, um, current going through this device. For the current, I had to uh, connect my Fluke in series with this guy to be able to, you know, such that you have the same current going through them at the same time. You know, I was really, really impressed. The difference between what the Fluke was measuring and what this guy was measuring was almost nothing. So yeah. So this is option one. And um, one of the things I didn't like about it is the way it's built is not really built to mount to anything. So it's built to just, uh, if you're having a set, test set up, you can just put it down somewhere, that's it. So that's another thing I didn't like about it. Another thing, the, one of the big things I didn't like about it was the display. The, dis the display is so narrow and so small. So it's kind of hard to see what is, you know, it, it's showing from afar. So that really brings us to this guy here, which is kind of what I would say is my favorite. Um, I just got this in a few days ago. Um, this is called the DC digital meter. So it's very simple and very well built. As even as you're holding it, you can feel the weight. Uh, it's very, uh, very well designed. So one of the things I liked about it, just like the precision meter that I showed earlier, is that it has the inbuilt uh, shunt for current measurement so everything is all in one place all you have to do is connect the the uh, the cables to be able to run the current through it and um, yeah i really like this one so this one has it has connections for um i think this is a kind of like an auxiliary voltage uh, auxiliary sorry auxiliary power coming in so as you can see there it can take up to 
5 to 12 volts then the test power is where you actually detect the voltage of your input that you're going to be testing comes in so it's very convenient and it has an input voltage rating of 0 to 300 volts and um, it has uh, it can measure up to 100 amps of current through this uh, um, shunt here um, so um, as you as you power it up what you will see on the display will be it will show you input voltage measurements battery or load what's going across your battery or load then it will show you uh, current measurements which is if you're charging your battery which will be um, your charging current if you're just driving a load through this it will be the load the current going into your load then it shows you also the uh, power which is basically iv multiplication of that uh, measured voltage and the uh, current going through the shunt it will also show you the uh, the uh, accumulated energy in watt hours so uh, one thing i like about it is the uh, digital display which is like the the green backlight and the fonts are very clear to read and um, yeah it's it, i really like, like this one so one of the things i did just like the other other ones is just to do a calibration test so i tested it to my with my uh, fluke you know flukes and uh, digital multimeters are known to be reliable and i used it kind of as a baseline to to test this to see the performance so um, with that hooked up the first thing i did was i did the current measurement and it was very precise very close to what the fluke was measuring and in order to do that i kind of connected this i uh, basically ran this like an ammeter so i connected it in series with the fluke meter so that way the same current will run through them and i kind of looked at both of them to see you know what you know how close they are so the second test i did was the voltage because it's the same I'm expecting to make precise voltage measurements through this as well and because the power and the energy and everything else depends on those two parameters voltage and current so I needed to make sure that those are precise as precise as I can get so as you see in the fluke meter um, they are very very close in measurement it's actually very I'm very impressed so yeah there you have it my friends I think this guy is going to be the winner um, I'm going to end up using this guy. I'm glad um, it uh, kind of paid off. I did a lot of reviews and there was a lot of uh, some bad comments on Amazon. So I think maybe what was happening was uh, people were plugging in the power, uh, the test uh, power into the, uh, the auxiliary power here. This is, there's a rating for zero, uh, five to 12 volts. You know so if you make the mistake of you know this guy here this second uh, connector here is rated it goes to the circuit that's supposed to measure your 0 to 300 volts so if you swap it you can have a problem there I can see that happening so yeah so I think this is gonna be the winner and um, if you like this video and the, uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, Please subscribe to our channel if you want to see all other videos or future videos or the finished uh, enclosure design for this uh, universal charger. So subscribe to our channel and um, so that way when I release the video, the next video you will get notified and you get to watch it. All right, my friends, we've come to the end of this video. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.